Hey YouTube, it's Electric Adventures here um, with a response to Ed, uh, EDT 1138's um, Tuesday Top 3 um, and this week was um, featured by Andrew's Game Display and uh, the question was uh, what are the three most rarest, not necessarily valuable, items in your collection? I had to really think about this. Um, I don't actually have a tremendous lot of what would be considered really rare games. So, um, and it did say items, so I'm going to twist this around a little bit. Now, um, I suppose I could put the um, uh, the 3D glasses, which you can see for the Sega Master System, which you can see on the shelf um, back there. Um, but I've included that in a few other lists and I think some of these other items are actually rarer um, because there were quite a few of those 3D glasses made and they do seem to be popping up. I suppose there's more of a question of is getting a pair that actually works as well. So um, as my number three I will actually include some ra games. So doing a bit of uh, looking up these are the two rarest games I have in my collection to my knowledge. Um, we have Power Strike for the Sega Mars system, although it's not as rare down here in uh, down here in Australia. There's also Power Strike 2, uh, which doesn't seem to appear on any list. That seems to be rare, and that seems to go for a lot of money. Um, don't have a copy, um, but people seem to consider this really rare and everything like that. But I've actually seen it come up a few times. So I suppose rarer would be. Beef Drop for the Atari 7800 because it's a homebrew title for the Intellivision and there are only a very limited number of items made. So that's my number three. Now my number two, now I had a bit of a tossing back and forth between these two on numbers and th this next thing is only number two because there were a hundred thousand of them made so surely out there there are more of them but they are very highly sought after. So it is a ZX, Sinclair ZX80 um, and I can actually show you the, try and be careful here, the innards. So it's all a single ball design, very old components. Um, now I will say uh, this one is currently not working. So. Um, they're rare and hard to come by, um, but I haven't determined what the problem with this particular unit is and whether I'll be able to get it working. So they're, they're very hard to come by, they don't come up very often. I suppose they're, you know, they're pretty old so and very small and fragile, so perhaps a lot of them have been thrown away, but a hundred thousand of them were made. So then I go on to the rarest item, so it is another retro computer. And these really are rare. Now, it's uh, there were two models brought out of this particular type of computer, um, and the reason why they were rare is they brought these machines out, and then the what these machines were evolved into the MSX standard. And um, I mean, like two million MSX machines were sold in the end, um, but that was split up between the different manufacturers. So you can imagine that the original Spectre videos, because that's where I'm going. So this is a Spectre Video 328. Um, now you've got the Spectre Video and it's a Mark II, so it's not an original uh, run model either. So probably the rarest items of Spectre Video would be the M Mark I model of this, because there would have been less of them sold, because it was the more expensive machine. Uh, followed by the very first version of the Spectre Video 328, that's the one with the red joystick. Hopefully if editing all goes well, pictures will appear when I talk about these things. Um, and then you have the Mark II 318, which has the grey inbuilt joystick. So, um, But this, based on production numbers and the fact that you are very lucky to find a working one anywhere. Um, I mean, there are a couple on eBay in the States. Uh, which is amazing considering how little were sold in the States compared to other areas in the world. Um, but you're actually very lucky to actually find one. Um, you're more, more common to find the, um, the Model 2 318 because um, a lot more of those were produced. Um, so there we go, there's my um, top three rare items and sorry I haven't been uh, contributing to these for the last couple of weeks but I've um, had the flu for quite a few days so um, which kept me um, you know, under the weather and then I've had to catch up with work and things like that. 
All right, so make sure you um, check out both Ed and Andrew. I'll put links down below when I upload the video, and I'll catch you all later.